welcome to The Good, The Bad, and The Tarot, and thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I want to say a big thank you to all of my old subscribers that have continued to support me, and if you are a new subscriber or coming back, uh, welcome. It's great to have you. For your reading today, I am going to be using the Thoth Tarot Large Deck, which is not read with reversals as per the uh, tradition of Aleister Crowley and the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. This deck is not read with reversals, so I will not be reading reversals today. For your oracle message, I will be pulling one card from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. And as always, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. I always recommend getting a private reading for the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome. Also, if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so. Uh, drop up in the description below this video. There will be a link there. Uh, that will take you to my scheduling page and you can book a reading. I am offering gift certificates as well for those of you who are interested in getting a gift certificate for a friend or family or for a present. Um, that is under uh, my private readings, the products and services. Also I have a new reading that I'm offering. It is the um, year, uh, your year ahead forecast for 2017. Uh, you'll see that under private readings. It is a 50-minute reading. I am offering it for, I believe, $45. So it's a great deal, and it's a very extensive reading. We'll cover each month in the year going forward and your overall outcome and challenge for the year. So um, I'd love to see more people sign up for that. But uh, you might have noticed also that I did not put out a love forecast for December, but I did put out a general reading. Those are available on my Patreon page. Um, thank you so much for those of you who have stuck by me while I just take a, uh, I guess you could say, a spiritual retreat or break uh, in December. I had gone away for Thanksgiving, and when I came back, I was extremely drained and needed to take some time off for myself. So. Thank you so much for bearing with me, and I am back to do your January readings. I also wanted to say that I do moderate my channel for negative comments. This is a safe place, and I hope to see um, all of your comments on here, but I will be removing anyone that leaves um, negative comments that are just not helpful and don't provide any really good critiques or support. So, um, Also, if you see my videos on YouTube being... Um, rebroadcasted by any other person other than the good, the bad, and the tarot, please report them to me so that I can have them uh, fill out a DMCA and have them taken down. Yes, that has happened in the past. So anyway, let's get going with your reading. Thank you so much for listening. Hello, Cancer. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful December. This is going to be your January love forecast for the year 2017. This is for all my Cancer suns, moons, and risings out there. And those on the cusp. What will be so for my Cancers in the new year with regards to their love lives? getting the number three very strongly so could be three people could be that uh, the number well three is also a very fertile number <clears throat> talks about um, well it resonates with the Empress and of the major arcana that will come out in your reading. Let's take a look at your cards. The Prince of Cups crossed by the Three of Swords who comes below you as the Ace of Cups. What comes above you is the Prince of Wands. In your recent past, you have the Five of Cups. In your near future, you have the Eight of... I'm oh, sorry, this is the Fortune. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. 
how you see yourself, you have the two of wands in your environment. This is also how your significant other or the person you think about the most may be viewing you or dealing with you. They have the star. Your hopes and fears are the three of cups. And your outcome is the nine of wands. Okay, Cancer. Can't seem to deal um, any bad cards for you. Really, you you always have gorgeous readings. So, um, not that I'm trying to do that or that I have the ability to do that. So, you walk into January with the Prince of Cups. So, this is the airy energy of the suit of cups. So, this can indicate a love message or a lighthearted um a lighthearted love message, a love energy. Uh, also, this may actually represent your energy since you are a water sign cancer. And this can represent a young man whose characteristics are subtlety, secret violence, craft, someone who is an artist or whose calm surface masks intense passion. This person is very caring um, or cares very intensely for power and wisdom and it may be ruthless in his own aims. Okay, so someone is quite ambitious here and um, that really could be your significator. If I were doing a personal reading for you, I would probably put either the um, Prince of Cups or the Queen of Cups down. Now, your challenge has to do with some kind of sacrifice or heartbreak here. We have the Three of Swords in the challenge position. Um, so, the heartbreak could be coming from three different people or three different directions. Um, of course, this is what's helping or hindering you. I feel that uh, perhaps... Um, You've broken someone else's heart, Cancer. Perhaps it's that. It could also be that um, you do need to go through this heartbreak in order to uh, move on to another phase in your life. Um, I feel um, that you know the Three of Swords represents melancholy and happiness, um, tears and disruption. There is some sowing of discord here and strife. Now it can also represent a delay, absence, or separation. Mirth and forbidden pleasures or deceit. Um, you may actually be separated from a loved one by time or space, and that could also be the cause of this heartbreak. Um, I, there is great... Uh, no, yeah, because I'll actually, in your recent past, you have the Five of Cups, which is some sort of disappointment. Leaving your life. So this would indicate, actually, a loss. Something that disappointed you. But it is passing out of your life, and so your challenge is to get over this heartbreak, whatever it is, um, this pain, this sorrow. You have the, it seems you have the emotional resources to do that um, with the air energy in the suit of cups here. Also at the foundation of your reading is the ace of cups, which is new love. And this is the holy grail of love here. Um, it can also indicate conception for some of you. Uh, the beginning of a new phase in a relationship. There's plenty of it here. This is the source of love. And it is the reason why you are um, being challenged to let go of the sorrow to get over this heartbreak. I feel you are in a very good place right now, um, but uh, again, it's saying that you you do need to take action. 
Um, you do need to move on your, um, your feelings here. You do need to act. And in your conscious level, you have the Prince of Wands. And this would be the, um, the air part of fire. So the air energy of fire. And this is what you may be thinking or feeling during the month of January. Um, so it's a little bit different than what you are actually, how you are actually behaving. Um, and it's something that you have not manifested yet, but maybe you would like to manifest that energy. So the difference in the two, um, one, one is basically, um, well, I just heard one is a boy and one is a girl. So it could be that you are actually, um, hoping for a boy, but it's actually a girl. If you are conceiving, if you've recently conceived, if you recently realized that you're pregnant or conceiving, but if it's not that, then the um, Prince of Wands, yes, the airy part of fire with its faculty of expanding and um, volatilizing, he is seated in a chariot of flame and holds the phoenix wand of power and energy. Okay, so these cards are similar, but we are talking about the fire energy here. You may be thinking about a Leo Aries or Sagittarius person. Um, you may currently be separated from this person, or you may um, be going through a difficult situation uh, where you are... Uh, having to make a sacrifice currently. Um, it may require a move. It may require um, this type of energy as well, this fire energy, this air, and the suit of wands. Um, it could be, it could indicate travel as well. So the only difference here is that we're dealing with um, water and we're dealing with fire here. Here we're doing with a lot, you have a lot of water in your foundation, water, water, and then air and fire. Moving into the near future, you do have the Wheel of Fortune, which is fantastic. It talks about expansion and change. Whatever things are happening now, they will not stay the same. You are um, moving on your destiny, Cancer. Something unexpected and positive is happening to you in the middle of January. Um, you are sitting at the top of the Wheel of Fortune, and Fortune is blessing on blessed has blessed you this month. Uh, now, what exactly we are talking about here, we're talking about a change of fortune. It's generally good, but it is also saying that this is your destiny. Where you are headed is your destiny. So, um, yes, it is that big of a deal. Um, you are seated with the Two of Wands, Dominion. This is how you see yourself. With the power to choose, you have the option, the path ahead of you. You see your destiny in the future. You are at the precipice of making a decision, possibly Cancer, and one that could change your destiny, one that you are um, literally, you know, is part of your fate here. In your environment, you have the lovely star, which is the sign of Aquarius. You may be dealing with an Aquarius here, uh, an air sign or a fire sign, um, Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. And this is how they're going to be viewing you or dealing with you. Extremely optimistic. Um, the source of great hope and optimism in their life. They're, they're, uh, you are their guiding star. You are their north star. Um, you represent to them the innocence and beauty of the woman in this card, even if you are a man, who is constantly nurturing and feeding both the earth and herself. This is also a great card of expansion and astrology and the stars being lining up here. So um, this person has a great amount of hope and faith and optimism in you and they see that um, they see that chance and that potential with you. Your hopes and fears are the Three of Cups, which is very interesting here. In this card, it talks about abundance. I would hope that it is a hope, but I also see a friendship. I can talk about um, 
obviously there being plenty to go around here and uh, we are talking about three I was mentioning three so some kind of unifying of three uh, three people now it can also be a fear I don't feel like it is a fear I feel like it's a hope for some kind of um, it could be a hope for a baby shower as well. I know that that probably is not the case, but I feel it has more to do with um, unifying three different elements or three different people in your life or three people coming together. It could even indicate bringing, becoming a family, bringing a family together. Very nice. Your outcome is the Nine of Wands, which says that you will be successful. Cancer, you will... Um, probably achieve whatever it is in your heart and it will you will be going through a lot this month it will be a um, challenging experience but it will also require a lot of strength of character and physical strength so um, this is a card of success and power and um, overcoming many, many, many different obstacles in order to um, become victorious. So I see that you will have the stamina to do whatever it is needs to be done. And you are most certainly on your path this month, Cancer. I feel like the stars are shining for you. And um, whatever this sorrow is that you have to overcome or poses a challenge, um, that is just meant to happen. You are just meant to, um, that sacrifice is there for you in order to grow as a person. And, um, you may have to let go of some, some way or some belief that you've held in your mind for quite a long time because, um, depending on the nature of the sacrifice, but. Let's take a look at your oracle message. Spirit, what does Cancer need to know? Please help guide them on their high spiritual path. Again, two cards. Here we are with the threes. What was I saying? Didn't I just the beginning of the reading we have like so many threes in this reading we've got three of swords three of cups we've got the three of swords again in the uh, oracle card and the three the major arcana the empress wow so let's talk about the Sadness and isolation here, which was in your challenge position. Keywords are sorrow, disappointment, trust, and healing. Love can bring both joy and sorrow, Cancer. When disappointment enters your life, it's important to acknowledge the accompanying sadness and feelings of loss. However, it's equally vital not to dwell on the loss. The temptation may be to isolate yourself from the world and cling to your grief. This card is a reminder to trust that the situation, as hard as it may be, is in your best interest. It's time to gently let go of the sorrow and disappointment. Sorrow can hold you back, or it can elevate you to new levels of understanding. Focusing on your sadness and loss will prevent you from attracting new positive energy around relationships. So it's time to turn your disappointment into hope for the future. Ask what lessons you can learn from the situation and move beyond despair into healing and joyful love. Let go and move on. You have more powerful spiritual forces helping you than you could ever imagine. Beautiful. Here we have him launching off of this pain and really with open arms and we have the counter card here the empress with nurture 
and another three. Keywords are cherish, nourish, blossom, abundance, nature, and creativity. We have this in your hopes and fears as well. Let me just get all the threes out. So many. The nurture card reminds you to tend the garden. Relationships must be nourished in order to thrive. Count the abundant blessings of the relationships you have. Find ways to let other people know that you care for them and appreciate them. Good relationships can be taken to new levels of happiness, and faltering relationships can be revived with loving care and attention. Equally, be sure to tend to your relationship with yourself. Nurture your soul by giving yourself the grace to be who you really are, and love yourself for it. Take a few moments every day to connect with the divine. Pull a card from this deck, meditate for five minutes, or simply have an attitude of gratitude. Nurture your mind by engaging in activities that stimulate and engage. Use your creativity in some way every day. Everyone has the ability to be creative, whether you paint, write, cook, sew, sing, dance, live. Take care of your body by maintaining your good health or by making it healthy. Relax in a bubble bath, enjoy a good cup of tea, or take a long walk. Connecting with nature will soothe and nourish all aspects of yourself. Remember that nurturing yourself also raises your vibration and sends a signal of love into the universe. If you desire it, that signal will be a beacon that will bring a new and loving relationship to you. Your affirmation is, I shower all my relationships with loving attention and watch them blossom. The traditional tarot archetype is the Empress. So I really feel like in overcoming some disappointments, you are actually um, able to create something new in your life. Um, and that's really where the three is. It's, a, it's, it's one more than the two, which is more than the choice. It is the actual creation of something new. Um, whether that's a new life or whether that is a new relationship or, excuse me, bringing all of those things together that you've learned um, from your past forward. Um, I do feel like uh, you will be creating something new in January and actually I feel it more for the year of 2017 will all be about nurturing your relationships and helping them grow. So I wish you the best, Cancer, and thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I look forward to reading for you in the near future, so take care.